Hi everybody, I'm Nicole. I'm a junior here at Bentley. I'm a finance major and a management minor. And my name is John. I am a sophomore here at Bentley, major in accounting. We're going to be taking you guys on tour, showing you around campus for those of you who can't join us here in Waltham. Uh, Nicole is going to tell you a little bit about the history of Bentley and I will meet you guys later on the tour. So Bentley was founded in 1917 by Harry Bentley. He taught at BU and other schools at the area and he taught accounting, but he wanted to teach his own methods. So he just opened up his own school. Originally located in the back bays of Boston, we were an all-male accounting and finance school. In 1942, the school became co-ed. In the 60s, we moved to our current home right here in Waltham. And then in 2008, Bentley College became Bentley University with the addition of our graduate school. So here at Bentley, we do have 4,200 undergraduate students and 1,000 graduate. Our campus is divided into three different tiers. So right now we're on our uppermost tier, which is academics focused. We have our library, all of our classrooms, our professor's offices. Our middle tier of campus is more residential. So we have our dining hall, most of our dorms, and our bookstore. And then lower campus is athletics focused. So we have our varsity fields as well as our gym. So here at Bentley, we call ourselves a business university because we have the resources of a university, but that nice focus on business. As such, our courses are a little bit different. We have your general education courses, so that's what you're doing in high school now, your history, science, math, English, all that fun stuff. We also have our major courses, so if you major in accounting, you'll take accounting courses, marketing, you'll take marketing courses, econ, what do you take? Econ courses, nice and easy. A little unique to Bentley is our third category of courses, our general business curriculum. In this curriculum, we take a semester of everything in the business. So you'll take some accounting and finance, marketing, management, a little bit of everything. If you don't know what you want to study yet, that's totally okay. These courses help you figure it out. If you know exactly what you want to study, you learn what everybody else is learning. And learning is a very good thing, right? That's why we do school. So over here is Morrison Hall. Morrison is home to professor's offices. Professors at Bentley are great. They are required to have two office hours per week, but most of them do a whole lot more than that. They'll just say, hey, my door is always open. If it's open, come on by. Uh, you can go for help with tests, quizzes, homework, all that stuff, or just to get to know your faculty members. They are really great, really awesome people. Uh, we have one professor for every 11 students, and every class here at Bentley is taught by a professor who either has a PhD or a ton of real world experience or they're a show off and they have both. But with our office hours and all those great things, you get to know them and they get to know you too. They are a great resource here at Bentley and a great part of our community. Also in Morrison is our Center for Marketing Technology. Uh, it is a great marketing lab that we have. Uh, so they have one of those two-way mirrors. You guys know where people can see one way and the other people can't see the other way. Nice and easy for watching focus groups. They also have a data analytics lab, a Mac lab, Photoshop, awesome resources. Companies come to partner with our students and use our resources. Converse is a paid research study where they pay you to wear a pair of Converse shoes, and at the end you get to keep the shoes too, so that's pretty cool. Also in Morrison is our Service Learning Center. Service Learning is a unique Bentley program that merges real world experience with the education you're having here at Bentley. Uh, so you can go and you can go help the greater Waltham community. Uh, people go out, they do um, projects at the senior centers, at uh, elementary schools, using the knowledge they're getting in their classes to go help the community. So then over here we have our next academic building. This is a Damien Academic Center. So besides having classes in there, we also do have our Center for Business Ethics, which is the first of its kind. So Bentley really emphasizes from your first day on campus, having strong morals and sticking by them. So it's implemented in all our classes here. Besides the Center for Business Ethics, we also have our Center for Language and International Collaboration Lab, or just the Click Lab, and that's a foreign tutoring center. So you don't have to take a foreign language at Bentley, but if you're interested in it, it's a great resource to have for tutoring. It is run by native speakers of the language, so it's really great to learn about their culture because most of the time they did grow up in that country, um, as well as if you're not able to take a foreign language or it might not fit in your schedule, we do have online softwares available for all our students here for free, so that's a great resource. And it's something that our study abroad students really utilize. Speaking of study abroad, we do have our Center for Study Abroad also in Adamian. We have 52 programs in 25 different countries, so a lot to choose from. We have the typical semester abroad, we have our summer abroad, internships abroad, as well as faculty-led courses, which run about one or two weeks during the breaks. So study abroad is really popular because Bentley makes it easy. They work really closely with academic services to make sure going abroad isn't something you have to decide between taking extra classes anything like that and that you're on track to graduate on time so it is a great opportunity if you're interested i did study abroad last semester in rome and bentley was really accommodating to make sure that the academics lined up all my transitions were easy and it was the best time i've had so one thing we're really excited to tell you about here at bentley is our career services department 
Career services here are extraordinary. They're always nationally ranked, top of the country, and there's a good reason why. We have a series of counselors, each one focused on a set of majors. So accounting has their own, marketing, finance, management, and they know what you need to do to help, to help you break into your career. They help you write a resume, a cover letter, they help you make a LinkedIn, all that awesome stuff. We actually have a course called Career Development 101, where they teach you all that stuff in six weeks during your freshman year. Addition, additionally, we have our Bentley Link program, which is like LinkedIn, but only for Bentley students, where employers post jobs just looking for our students, and then our students can go and apply to those. Uh, we also have two career fairs per year, where employers and recruiters come to meet with our students, make those connections, and possibly secure that internship or job offer. Speaking of internships, 92% of our students will intern once while they're here, and 72% will do it twice. Both of those are the highest rates in the country, 99% of our students are employed or in grad school within six months of graduating from Bentley with a starting salary around $60,000. So our career services department here at Bentley, they do a great job making sure you get that return on investment from your Bentley degree. So this is the ACE Lab. This is an accounting center here on campus. It is a tutoring center. So every student at Bentley does have to take two semesters of accounting. So this is a great resource to have. This is a student run tutoring center. So it's awesome. It's open super late. So if you have any last minute questions, you can come in. Uh, if you have any questions on your homeworks, on your quizzes. Besides the accounting lab, we also do have finance, writing, so there's plenty of options. So no matter what the subject, you are able to get help from students here on campus. So this is our library. We have some great spaces for our students to use. Downstairs, we have our IT help desk. So if you spill coffee on your computer, download something you shouldn't have, that sort of thing, it's totally student run, and they are able to go help you with any tech issues you face here on campus. They also have these moving bookshelves where you hit a button and the whole shelf moves automatically. First time you see it, it's the coolest thing in the world. Second time you see it, it is bookshelf on wheels. But the first time you see it, it's awesome. Can't recommend it enough. Uh, here and on the upper level of our library, we have a lot of great study spaces for our students to use. We have computers here. We have uh, these nice comfortable chairs here as well. We have our RSR Art Gallery. It is an art gallery focus show focusing on local New England artists putting in their works. Bentley students can also submit works to be showcased in here. And here is one of our study rooms. Uh, the study rooms are all throughout the library, conference room style setup, a TV at the end you can plug your laptop into, great space to go and collaborate, work with your fellow students. You can book them online for up to two hours at a time, up to two weeks in advance, and there's a screen in our library for you to go and see which study rooms are open when you come in. Uh, otherwise, we have these nice comfortable desks, we have these pods, and right here, our comfortable, more comfortable part of the library, uh, sit down with your book or a laptop, get some work done, a little bit more relaxed to hang out between classes. The library is open from 7 a.m. until 2 a.m. during the academic year and 24 seven during finals week. So if you need that study fix, you need to get some work done, this space is open and it's a great space for our students to utilize. So right now we are in Jenison, which is our newest renovated academic building. In Jenison, we do have academic services. So academic services is a really great resource if you're looking for tutoring. We also have our disability services office in academic service. Besides that, if you're unsure of what classes you should be taking, it's great to stop in. Just check with an advisor. Every student here does get an academic advisor as well as you can plan out all four years of classes if you're really nervous about graduating on time. And it's really great because there are walk-in hours, so you don't always have to book an appointment. It's never too crowded. Usually you can walk in in between classes, be seen relatively easily. We also do have academic services for our graduate students, which might not apply to a lot of you, but it is convenient because you don't really have to worry about getting prioritized and being put against the graduate students. There's never really a long line to wait in. And also in Jenison, as well as all of our other academic buildings, we do have printers here on campus. So we do have wireless printing. And how it works is that every year you do get $40 of printing funds and a piece of paper is about five cents to print out. So you don't really have to ever worry about running out of printing funds unless you decide to start writing a novel maybe. But how it works is you press print and any printer on campus you can print on. It stays on the server for about two or three days. And most of the time you're printing because of your own discretion as opposed to your professors. We really take in a wireless approach. So most of the time it's if you want to take notes and print out study guides, things like that. Besides that, we also do have lounges in all of our buildings. So this is a great area to study. If you have maybe two classes in this building with an hour or so in between, you can hang out. Otherwise, a lot of students do like to come here early before they maybe have a test in this building just to look over their notes quickly. 
So right now we're on the science floor of Jenison. So when we renovated Jenison, we put in a ton of state-of-the-art science labs just because students here at Bentley do have to take a lab science and Bentley wanted to make it enjoyable for students, make it relatable, fuse together business and science. So it's not just a class students take because it's a requirement, but it's something they can actually really learn for, from and apply upon graduation from Bentley. So we have a ton of different options for sciences. We have classes like astronomy, geology, oceanography, as well as classes on microbiomes. Last year, I took sustainability at Bentley. Before coming here, I didn't think I liked science. I didn't think I would actually really enjoy it here, but it was one of my favorite classes I've ever taken at Bentley. And it was because it was really interactive. We got to dissect fish, um, test like the microbiome, or test the microplastics in the fish, as well as also, we got to chase around squirrels in Boston, have a fun day at that. Our final was a presentation to the co-founder of Wayfair, Steve Conine, which was an incredible opportunity. I don't think I ever thought I would get out of life, let alone at such a young age. So sciences here really do prepare you and there's tons of research opportunities. So if you're interested in doing research through the university, it's really possible, especially in your undergraduate career. So I definitely recommend taking a science here and taking something you're really interested in. So this is our tech triangle here in the Smith Center. Uh, tech triangle, we have, we have three pieces of awesome technology here. One, two, three, a little bit of geometry for you. Over here is our CIS Sandbox, Computer Information Systems. It's a very popular minor here at Bentley. Also becoming a popular major because we live in the future and everything happens on computers now. Uh, all Bentley students take a course called Information Technology in their first year that covers way more than just what's a computer. They get that done day one. They teach you every function you'll ever need to know in Excel, HTML, how to set up a router, really useful stuff. If you need help, they have tutors. Otherwise, they're always having fun showing off the latest gadgets, letting our students get some experience, hands-on experience with that. Uh, over here is our User Experience Center. It's like the Center for Marketing Technology, but it is for our graduate students, where our undergrad students can go and participate in studies, uh, research studies to help companies optimize their websites and their apps. Really awesome stuff to be a part of. And over here, the crown jewel of our tech triangle is our trading room, one of the largest academic trading floors in North America. Bentley encourages every single one of our students, if they're interested, to go and get some experience here. Uh, Bentley has pretty much every financial services software you can imagine available for our students to use and learn how to use right here, including Bloomberg, Morningstar, Datastream, you name it, you'll be able to learn how to use it here. Additionally, we have tutors. If you don't know a finance concept or if you don't know how to use technology, they can help you out. Classes are held here from time to time. When there is a class going on, there's an auxiliary trading room in the back that you can go and use. Uh, additionally, this space is utilized by our Bentley Investment Group, uh, one of the largest organizations on campus. They break down into individual sectors of the market, research stocks, pitch them with the whole group and actually invest. Uh, they started with $150,000 in 2006. Uh, this year, or last year, they broke over a million dollars Huge deal when they did. If there is a single space that sold me on Bentley, it would have to be this. This is a really awesome space. The real-time the real time stock tickers on the wall just kind of draw you in. And you see the awesome resources we have. Great space here on campus. So this is pretty much the largest classroom you're gonna find here at Bentley. We cap all of our classes at 35 students each. That's not an average or a pretty number. That is the absolute maximum you're gonna have here partially because, as you can see, adding chairs to this room might make things a little tight, uh, and more importantly, because there is a ton of value in small class sizes. We have one professor for every 11 students, and in this environment, you get to know them, but more importantly, they get to know you too, and they can be a great contact for whatever you need help with. Uh, they love working with our students, so it's really great that they get to know you and you get to know them in this environment, and you get to know your fellow students as well. Uh, classes themselves meet for two hours and 40 minutes a week, either once a week, two hours and 40 minutes, or twice a week, hour and 20 minutes each time. They start as early as 8, 30, at 8 in the morning. They end as late as 9.30 at night. We have a tool called the Schedule Planner where you input the classes that you want to take, input your breaks, so if you have a job or a practice, or if you just don't want to be taking a class at a certain time, and it'll automatically plan your schedule for you, which is really awesome, a great tool for our students to use. There are seven courses freshmen are required to take. Two semesters of general of accounting and finance and a semester of law as a part of our general business curriculum, as well as uh, two semesters of calculus. Additionally, we also have a semester of expository writing, which is a writing course to help everyone get on the same writing, floor, writing uh, footprints, and our information technology course to get everyone on the same, foot, on the same floor with technology usage. Uh, you typically take five classes per semester, so 10 classes per year. That extra three you can fill with electives with whatever you're interested in. 
Uh, I, I took a class called Economics of the European Union last semester. Very interesting class, especially during the Brexit. Uh, really fascinating information. Really just find a class you're interested in, you'll have a good time. Uh, we also have our honors program, great academic thing to mention. Uh, top 10% of each admitted student class is automatically invited. They have some perks. Uh, they have a boat cruise down the Charles River to end the semester, or in the year, a barbecue to start it, their own floor in our residence halls, and cast classes capped at 18 students each instead of 35. If you thought 35 was small, imagine 18 is your maximum class size. Honors program, they have that. If you weren't admitted to the honors program when you first apply, it's automatic acceptance when you first apply, but if you weren't admitted, you can apply again after your freshman year. They'll consider your Bentley record when deciding whether or not to accept you to that. Uh, one more thing with this room, there's some awesome technology in here. Over here at this little podium for our professors, they can control the entire room. They want to turn the lights off, they want to, turn the they want to bring the shades down, uh, turn on the projector, any of that stuff. Our professors love to utilize the technology in their lectures, and again, they control it from one little tablet right here. Otherwise, this is a pretty standard classroom here at Bentley, and this is what our academic experience is like. So we are here on the lower athletic part of our campus. Bentley has 21 varsity athletic programs. 20 of them are Division II, and one of them, our men's ice hockey team, is Division I. That means we get to play some great marquee programs in our new arena, also on the lower part of our campus. It is a great place to catch a game, not a bad seat in the building, really awesome place to watch hockey, and some other events that we'll talk about later. In addition to our varsity hockey program, we also have our 20 varsity Division II programs. That includes things like men's and women's basketball, which are the very best at Division II. The, men, the women's team actually won the national championship in 2014. For that, they have a massive banner hanging over their court. They absolutely earned it. Men's and women's basketball are always nationally ranked top of the country. Very, very competitive programs. In addition to our basketball team, we also have volleyball, football, uh, both of who won their conference this year, swim and dive as well, uh, conference champions, having a pretty great year for sports here at Bentley. All these great programs to go watch, cheer on your fellow Falcons. Below that, we have our club sports. Club sports play other schools, but it's not NCAA sanctioned. So that's things like women's ice hockey, rugby, and ultimate frisbee. You get to play other schools, but you're not necessarily in an NCAA league. And then below that, we have our intramural sports. Intramurals are competitive against other Bentley students. So that's stuff like uh, flag football in the fall, soccer, basketball, and softball in the spring. People get into it. People go to cheer on their friends at intramural softball games. We have a lot of fun with that. All of those are held on our lower athletic space. Down here, we have our turf lacrosse field and turf football field. Those are used by our lacrosse and football teams when they're not using it. Our students are welcome to go and utilize that space, have fun, throw the football around on the actual Bentley football field. How great is that? And over here, we're about to head into it, is the Dana Center. It is our main hub of athletic activity. It is home to our gyms, our swimming pools, and some dining options as well. So now we're in our Dana Athletic Center. So over here, we do have our gym. It is open from seven in the morning until 11 at night. So no matter what time you like to work out, if it's before class, in between, after, the gym is always open. On the first floor, we have more weights and lifting. On the second floor is more cardio. So no matter what kind of workout you like to do, we do have plenty of machines and we did just renovate the gym this past summer. So all of them are new. Um, and our athletic teams do have their own separate training facilities for practices. So you're never gonna be interrupting a sports practice. So that is nice. And besides that, we do have some discretionary options here in the Dana Center. So we have Corito, which is basically Chipotle, but also with smoothies, as well as the Nest, which is all day breakfast and pretty much the closest thing to a homemade meal you'll get here at Bentley. You check off what you want, they make it right in front of you so it's nice and warm, feels just like mom's cooking, and it's great right after the gym to reward yourself with a treat. So we're now at the green space, which is a pretty big social scene here at Bentley. Any day, it's even remotely nice out, you'll find students just hanging out, usually bringing a blanket to lay on, getting some work done, playing a game of spike ball with friends, and someone always has a speaker. Um, so it's really nice, especially around finals week when people get a little more stressed, just to be able to relax, get some work done out on the green space. Uh, my favorite day here was freshman year. I remember there was a day in January, it felt like it was July. It was so nice out and the entire green space was filled. There was not a single patch of grass that you could see Everybody was wearing shorts and flip-flops, and we even had Bentley police officers playing spike ball with the students, and it was amazing, and yeah. And then further down, we do have our bookstore. 
So this is where you'll find pretty much anything Bentley you can imagine and more, as well as where students will pick up their textbooks. And the reason why it's attached to a building so large is because it's an upper classman apartment building. Uh, besides the bookstore, we also have our Falcon Mart, which is pretty much like a little CVS. So any last minute school supplies you might need, any snacks, whatever you could possibly imagine is in there, as well as we do have our mail office. So as a Bentley student, you will receive a mailbox through the school. So if you ever receive a letter, a package, you would go there to pick it up. So this is our main dining hall, the 921, named because Bentley began at 921 Boylston Street in Boston. It's a buffet-style eatery. You guys know how buffets work, right? You go, you grab what you want, you want something else, feel free to go and grab it. Uh, freshmen who live on campus are required to have a meal plan. That can either be the unlimited meal plan or the value 15. Unlimited gets you into the 921 as many times as you want. If you want to go in to just grab a bagel and get on out, you are more than welcome to do that on the unlimited meal plan. No restriction at all. You also get 350 discretionary dollars to use throughout campus. If you don't find yourself coming to the 921 all that often, you can go to the value 15 plan, 15 swipes a week into the 921, and 375 discretionary dollars to use throughout campus. One of our main, main discretionary locations is Harry's Pub. We're gonna go buy that in just one second. It is open from 5 p.m. until 1 a.m. They do uh, standard food, uh, burgers, sandwiches, pizza, chicken, standard bar food. They also have a lot of great events in Harry's. They have weekly trivia nights. Our sororities will put on a mac and cheese night. With all the mac and cheese you could possibly eat for $5. Pretty good deal if I do say so myself. Uh, and during the football season, every single game from one o'clock until the end of Sunday Night Football is on in Harry's Pub. Also here in our student center, we have our Dunkin' Donuts, because what would I do without my iced coffee when it's five degrees outside? Gotta have a Dunkin'. It also has a side effect of making this whole building smell like donuts. Nothing wrong with that if I do say so myself. We're heading down towards our living room. It is a great hub of student activity, great place to go and hang out. We have pool tables, ping pong tables, and all that equipment is provided to our students. So if you're trying to pack your ping pong paddle, don't worry about it. It is available for our students to check out. Otherwise, it's a nice lounge for our students to hang out, relax, uh, work, work on some stuff with their friends. Great stuff all around. Upstairs and in the student living room as well, we have some conference rooms for our student organizations to meet. We have over 100 student organizations focusing on literally everything you could possibly imagine. If you're into music, we have a radio station. If you're into writing, we have a newspaper. If you're into cars, we have a car club. And if there's something that you're interested in that doesn't have a club yet, you can go and start your own club. How cool is that, right? Entrepreneurship, love to see that around here. Uh, additionally, this space, our living room, is home to our monthly bingo nights. Bingo at Bentley is a really huge deal. What do seniors in college and seniors in life have in common? They all love bingo. Uh, bingo at Bentley all leads to our super bingo event in the spring, where people can win some serious stuff. People have won iPhones, Playstations. Every year, Bentley seniors go to the Bahamas the week before graduation. People get that trip paid for at Super Bingo. So whatever you have to do, be good at bingo. Start practicing now, because Bentley is the big leagues. Otherwise, this is our living room, the real heart of activity on campus. This is our Student Equity and Inclusion Center, which includes our Multicultural Center, as well as our Center for International Students and Scholars. So 16% of our students here at Bentley are international, so providing resources for them, such as helping adapt to a new country, with the visa process, just being so far away from home, making them feel like Bentley is their new home as well as for the multicultural center it's about being really proud about your roots and where you come from we have a ton of different clubs for different cultures the biggest event they put on every year would be the diwali show and they do a lot of different fun themes this past year the theme was spongebob in the past they've done themes such as scooby-doo so it's always a really big event that people love to show up to and now we're heading over to our sacred space so while Bentley itself isn't a religious school, we do have six different religious sermons practiced here. So if you are religious and want to keep up with your practices, this is the place to do it. My roommate freshman year was Jewish and she attended a Passover dinner at the sacred space. It really meant a lot to her and we really moved her so she kept attending events at the sacred space. So if you're definitely interested in keeping up with your practices, I would recommend doing that here. So this is Miller Hall, one of our three freshman residence halls here on campus. It is a dormitory style residence hall. It features bathrooms on every floor, common living areas for students to hang out in, study lounges, and kitchens. Every floor of every Bentley residence hall has a residence assistant, who is a current student who helps you handle day-to-day -day issues with your housing, as well as a residence director for the entire building, who is a master's level professional who handles big picture stuff for the building. After freshman year, our students are, all, are eligible to move up to the suite style residence halls. Uh, the suites are for sophomores and juniors. These suites have common living areas, bedrooms of one to two people, bathrooms, and a kitchenette. 
After that, juniors and seniors moved to the apartments, common living area, bedrooms of one to two people, and a full kitchen all included. But this right here is one of our standard dormitory style residence hall rooms. Uh, two beds, two desks, two dressers, pretty standard setup. Right here, every single Bentley residence hall unit has air conditioning in the units, as well as heating, so this does both. Um, so you can you control it in the unit. So it can be 60 degrees here, 90 degrees across the hall. Don't know why they wanted it 90, but 60 here, 90 there, no problem at all. You control it for your unit. Otherwise, this is your space. Make yourself at home, bring a mini fridge, microwave, that sort of thing. Make yourself comfortable and help you get adjusted to living at Bentley. This is the common room for Miller, so this is a great place to hang out, study. There's a lot of big events here, like pizza parties, Super Bowl watching parties. It's always a great place to get out of your dorm and hang out. Then going in here, we have our kitchen. So if you do enjoy cooking and want to keep up with that, you can cook and there is a fridge where you can keep your food. And for housing, there is a contract you fill out. So that'll be, you say your top preferences for living, whether it's a double, triple, quad, or single, and you can request a roommate. Otherwise, you can go random and fill out a compatibility survey and Bentley will match you with someone. And then here's our laundry room. So we have laundry on every building, so you don't have to leave your dorm to do laundry, as well as we do have an app that you pay through your phone for the laundry, so you don't have to bring a bag of quarters, and it is very convenient. Thank you guys for joining us on this virtual tour of campus today. We hope you enjoyed. Before we leave you guys, we want to tell you about why we chose Bentley. Yeah, so for me, when I was making my decision, Bentley was a school that really looked great on paper, but when I was actually able to visit the campus, I couldn't imagine myself anywhere else. And for me, I was drawn in by the top-notch academics, great facilities, and award-winning career services. But at the end of the day, once I got on campus and got a sense of the community here, I knew this was a place that I could call home. Yeah, so thank you for following us around today. We hope to see you on campus soon.